You may not want to use most stem cells on the market after you understand about the power of exosomes. Exosomes are very, very powerful messaging molecules in your body. An exosome is like a packet. It's a, it's, let's say uh, I'm, I'm mailing you a letter and inside that letter is message, right? And it might say, it might say happy birthday. Um, whereas if you get a letter from the IRS, it might say something else like pay your taxes or something like that. Um, so the exosome is simply the packet and the message inside of that differs from exosome to exosome. So you want to make sure that you're getting the right types of exosomes that can help you uh, heal and up level the health of your body. So uh, again, exosomes are really, really powerful healing tools. Uh, and they're the, the real healing power behind stem cells. You should check out my stem cell video if you have not uh, right now, but they're a much safer form of healing for your body than a lot of the stem cells on the market, unfortunately. Um, in fact, I know a researcher that I uh, has his PhD in regenerative medicine, also has an MD who's a really close friend of mine, I just texted him earlier today. and. One of the things that he had stated was that when he's working with his NBA uh, all-star players and the NFL players he works with and all of this, he said whether he injects a dead stem cell or a live stem cell, they still get a great result from the injection. Why? It's because of the exosomes, the exosomes inside of the, the stem cell injection. So what are these things? Like, what, what, what are these little things? They're nano-sized communication vesicles, okay? Uh, they transfer proteins, RNA, and healing messages, or various messages. And the goal that we have is to make sure that the messages are the right messages for the body. The problem with exosomes is that a lot of people are getting exosomes from, you know, these different sources, and we don't know what the messaging uh, uh, centers of the exosome are saying to the body to do, right? So we talked about this with peptides, and I have another video that you can check out around peptides that, you know, we talk about how they're essentially messaging molecules that are really, uh, really powerful. Now, stem cells and some of the new stem cells that are gonna be coming on the market that haven't even been released yet, so stay tuned for the future of longevity and regenerative medicine because it is so exciting and transformative. And I can promise you that as the research institutes that I have relationships with release this information, it's just going to get better and better and better for us, which is why I have a goal to live to 156 years of age and uh, be, you know, playing and doing all of the things that I want to do at like 120, 130, 140, et cetera. So, and heck, if I get to 156, maybe I'll get to 200 and live as long as Methuselah or something along those lines. I think the dude lived to like 900. Um, but, you know, why are exosomes superior to various stem cells on the market, right? Again, watch the video on stem cells. I think it's important for you to get that, that video. Number one, there's no DNA, right? There's some DNA, very small amount in exosomes, but most of the time there's no DNA. What that means is there's no tumor risk, right? There's a lot of stem cells that can, you know, increase your risk of, of tumors, especially embryonic stem cells, which again, have ethical implications around the use of them. But this, the exosomes, again, they're, they're RNA, they're, they're, they're much more clean, and they have pure uh, regenerative signal, signaling capabilities without the cellular baggage, right? So, and that's most exosomes. And when you get them from the, uh, you know, say from the, the placenta or from the umbilical cord, um, a lot of the messages are grow, are heal, right? Are, are, are very good for the body, right? So there's a lot of people that are sourcing them from other you know, places and, and getting them from different sources that unfortunately the exosomes will create, you know, and end up creating problems. Because again, going back to the beginning of the video, it, there's messages inside of the exosomes and you want the messages to be the right messages. And a lot of people are just throwing whatever in the body and they're not the right messages, and they're like, oh my gosh, like you can actually cause issues with, with, these, with these exosomes. So 
Um, what they've been shown to do is skin rejuvenation. That's the dermatological uh, benefits of exosomes. In fact, I haven't fully vetted this, but an exosome uh, a, a scientist that I was talking to, um, she has beautiful skin and she's in her 60s. And I said, well, what, what do you do? And she's like, I, I, I inject exosomes in my face. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm like, well, do you do you do microneedling first and then PRP on top of that and then stem cells and then exosomes? She's like, no, I just do exosomes, right? And I was like, well, what do you think about microneedling? She's like, why would you microneedle when you can just get the fountain of youth right away in your face and not have to like go through the pain of uh, bleeding and whatnot on your face? For, for the men watching the video, microneedling is like what a lot of women do to um, you know, to, to activate healing in the skin, uh, cartilaginous development and growth in the skin. And I will say that you could do all of beauty exercises and it's only as good as the, the health of your stem cells uh, in your skin. Because the, the, you can also take as much collagen as you want and you're just gonna waste the collagen of the body unless you have healthy stem cells in the skin. Why do we wrinkle? Because the stem cells downregulate and get uh, senesced, right? Which is which is they be become older, and they don't utilize the collagen to create uh, a wrinkle-free face, right? So the real solution is get these healing factors in your body, eat a healthy diet, um, and then ultimately get the type of, of of stem cells and exosomes in the right areas of your body to then utilize and uh, the, the skin and rejuvenate the skin. So. Uh, that is a very interesting and exciting topic. And the Mayo Clinic in 2023 also came out and showed that joint healing and inflammation reduction was a huge benefit from the exosomes. If you watch my other video, I'll get into a little bit more information in the stem cell video about, you know, uh, why stem cells are, are beneficial. But the the, 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 the real mechanism, again, is the exosomes, right? The exosomes are what is so powerful. So the FDA is really connected with the pharmaceutical industry and they don't want anything to come out that isn't, you know, essentially majorly approved by them. Um, so a lot of people are making all these claims that exosome, exosomes have reversed this and have done that. and. Honestly, I've seen some of the stuff that has happened with the use of these molecules, and it's really amazing. Uh, however, there are people that are saying that from the mountaintops, and they don't actually have the goods, right? They don't have the right types of exosomes, and they're not sourcing it from the right areas. So again, we want to work with medical, like longevity medicine practitioners. Um, you know, I created a certification just to get doctors up to speed with the most cutting edge research and information that's out there on all of these topics called the uh, Longevity Practitioner Certification Program. So you want to have and engage with people that are actually in a very intelligent conversation that are um, going back and forth with each other, that are sharing clinical data and knowledge, and also using the best, most ethically sourced products uh, that, that, that they can, which is something that is really important to me. So final thoughts is exosomes could be one of the most powerful age reversal or anti-olding, we'll call it, tools available. And um, I think it's really powerful on a number of reasons in that it doesn't create, uh, you know, it doesn't create cancer, it's not oncogenic, it doesn't cause autoimmune conditions. There's a lot of other benefits with exosomes. Um, but again, you want to get them from the right sources and you want to make sure um, that you're not sending the wrong messages into your body, which comes down to sourcing. Because again, it's like that mail packet. You do not want to get mail from the IRS, right? You want to get, you know, mail from a good source like your mom or, you know, your, uh, your best friend or, you know, myself, I'll send you amazing you know, message in the mail that you're amazing and I hope you have a great year this year and, you know, uh, you know, I hope, hope you have a great day or whatever it is. Like the message needs to be the right message. 
So again, if you like this information, please share it, uh, subscribe, and click that bell button because as I source and, and connect with more of these cutting edge companies that are utilizing the best technologies, I will share this information on this channel. Um, I'll, I'll be sharing a lot of the things that I do. Uh, I just got um, it actually injected with exosomes um, at my last event and it was unbelievable how I felt afterwards. I was just like, woof, just brought me to life. So um, it, it's, it's very powerful. And p women that use exosomes in their skin, they, ha they, they say that they, they can tell the difference when the exosomes kind of die off. So, and by the way, I didn't say this, but the way that you take exosomes, if you're injecting into your skin, a lot of women do this, you know, once every two or three months. A lot of people, you know, do this twice a year or once every three months, once a quarter, uh, they get exosome injections. You can do it intravenously, uh, which will go throughout your body and benefit your whole body. And then you can do it locally, which will affect this specific local tissue. So if you're using exosomes, but you're using it in your skin, you're just going to get the benefit in your skin. If you're using it in your butt, which I don't know why people would put it in their butt, but you're gonna essentially just be getting the benefit in your butt. So again, if you put it intravenously, then it's gonna go out and go to the different areas that you want, but you wanna, consume, you want, you wanna get the right concentrations. So go ahead, click that bell button uh, for notifications on future videos and new breakthroughs in longevity and healthcare. And I look forward to also having you subscribe so you can stay connected. So thank you again for watching and I look forward to adding more value to you in the future.